we go on social media and we'll have a night where like Instagram is whack. Like Instagram was not good that night, like you didn't see anything, but we keep going to it in hopes that there's something good, which are things that we just digest so fast. We're like, oh yeah, this is a text message. This is how I'm trying to like hook up with this chick tonight. I think that like, we're not really thinking about how we're, you know, processing this information. It's just so natural to us. So I think things are changing so much. Things are changing so fast. And it's hard to have moments like, all right, slow down, stop. Think about how you are creating. Think about you know what you're doing, how you're gonna do it. I think when you put a, a painting on a wall, you're, you're making a statement and you're saying like, hey, let's really process this. I attended Parsons uh, from 2005 to 2006. But before I dropped out, I switched my majors because I had a whole bunch of people like telling me that I'd be more successful as a graphic designer. I'd make way more money and you're not gonna make money doing fine art. And I found myself just being engulfed behind like deadlines and just making a whole bunch of shit that wasn't really for me. I think that's where I really started to just stop and, and, and think about like where I really wanted to go in the next few years of my life. So my first solo show as a you know fine artist was uh, Defragment, and that show was um, based upon like the conflict between you know being a graphic designer and being an artist, but also in this like digital age where you know information is like constantly flying back and forth, and we're reading crazy text messages, people are dying on the news all the time, you know, Ubers are crashing, all this like weird shit that's happening. Like, I was really influenced by how we're communicating during all these times, you know. So, um, a lot of the work was centered towards like that problem when you're you know with your girlfriend and you spend hours looking for what to watch on netflix and you end up not watching shit because we have so many options because there's so much information i featured things like gradients and uh, characteristics in art that i was really inspired by as a graphic designer you know that i wasn't necessarily seeing in the fine art world and i think my challenge was how can i take these things these elements and transfer them to paintings and make them beautiful, but also make them seem as if a computer rendered them. And um, when I was making uh, works from Defragment, um, I had gotten like word that my uh, grandfather was sick, you know, and uh, my grandfather like sort of raised me on cowboy movies and spaghetti westerns and stuff like that. I had downloaded this new app, it's called Citizen. If you sign up for it, it gives you alerts that tell you, you know, all the crazy shit that's happened in your neighborhood. So if like a man got stabbed or if a woman got assaulted or something, it would send you this message, you know? And I felt it was really like reminiscent of a, just a Western wanted ad that would say like, you know, Cactus Butch is wanted for fucking robbing a train or some shit. And I think that I'm starting to realize that the Wild Wild West and the World Wild Web have a lot more similarities than we would think. I was sort of inspired with that imagery to incorporate that in my paintings, you know? It's similar to Defragment, but this time in a more abstract composition. I think it sort of makes you step back and, you know, appreciate the imagery, but also sort of ask why are these two things next to each other? And, you know, this show I wanted to ask more questions, you know, with the audience and not answer so many questions. The work needs that element. You know, so I hope to raise sort of new questions.